It's pretty fast and easy to turn something 2D into 3D if you make a good use of a vector graphics format called SVG in Blender. I've used a vector infographics I bought from FreePick, but there are free icons and graphics you can search for and use out there so you can apply this method to whatever graphics you have available. Make sure you search for SVG and check this add-in before importing the file. Once that's done, go to File Import and choose Scalable Vector Graphics. You can barely see it, so scale then press Ctrl A to apply the scale. It looks weird with all these overlapping faces so let's delete them and leave just the parts that we need. I'm going to duplicate and use the first circle, so I'm deleting all the unnecessary items. I've decided to extrude these graphics first. Click on the Curve Object Properties tab and adjust the extrude value under Geometry. I'm pressing Shift and Alt. Shift for smaller increments and Alt to apply extrusion to all selected graphics at the same time. It might be easier to manually enter the amount. Let's convert this cylinder shape to mesh now. I'll select a face and press Q for quick favorites. What I want is not there. Go to Select, Select Linked, and right-click on Linked Flat Faces to add to quick favorites. Now if I press Q, Linked Flat Faces is there. I'll delete these faces and do the same for the bottom faces. Alt-click an edge to select the loop and press F to fill. Turn on Auto Smooth and add a bevel modifier. Adjust settings and increase amount. Press Ctrl-2 for a subsurf. Let's set the origin to geometry and duplicate. I'm going to duplicate this curvy object and hide it because I do need it for the final result. Convert it to mesh and select the top faces like we did for the cylinder shape and delete. Select the whole loop. Shift D to duplicate and press P to separate selection. Delete the mesh and convert the loop to curve. Increase bevel depth and right click to shade smooth. Let's unhide the curvy object we've duplicated. I already have a ground plane, so I'm going to make it visible. Let's duplicate the top beveled curve and place it at the bottom. We'll need to select these bottom faces and move them right above the floor too.
time to apply some materials, and we're done. I hope you had fun as much as I did, please subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching guys.